Hi and welcome back. I'm pleased to have with me on the hot seat Ms. Lucy Chabala Kawesha from the University of KwaZulu Natal, but originally from Zambia. That's right. Or based in Zambia. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Lucy, tell us a little bit about what you do. So my name is Lucy Chabala Kawesha, as you have said. Uh, professionally, I'm a trained marketer. I did my BSc marketing in Zambia right. at the Copper Belt University. I did my master's in communication for development at the University of Zambia. Now I'm pursuing my PhD. I'm in the tail of my PhD here in South Africa at the University of KwaZulu Nata. But as you're aware, I'm Zambian. So yes. way back at home, I had a marketing and communications department. I'm the marketing and communications manager at the National Institute of Public Administration. Okay. This is a, it's a government wing that falls directly under the office of the president and we are responsible for capacity building the civil service. Something like uh, the School of Governance, what you have uh, Okay, well, that's right, in South Africa. Yes. And how's it going? I mean, it's a tough job. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to juggle three balls. I'm yes. a mom, I'm doing my PhD and I'm running oh, a department. Wow. So, yeah, it's heavy, but it's exciting. It is. Yeah. So, it, it's a, everything's really about behavior change, isn't it? Exactly. So it's about changing the way people think exactly. about their jobs, about the country. And, and mental about, health. Yes, and mental <laughs> health. And positive outcomes. Yeah. So, can great. you share with us, I've, I've been asking people, and people have got wonderful case studies of work that they've done that they really want to talk about. Yeah. Can you chat about some of the challenges that you've managed to overcome using the social market using social market yes so um i think i would love to go to the beginning yes. of how I, I got involved with social marketing see i come from commercial marketing and i was looking for marketing with impact yes i, I always felt like there has to be more there has to be some level of impact in what i was doing so when I was doing my master's, which is in communication for development, I came across a, a book by Nancy Lee, which is in social marketing, and suddenly I felt at home. It changed so your art of years. Yes. So um, at my master's, I did um, a thesis in how social marketing can help behavior change in commercializing culture. So it was an ethnographic study, and I stayed in a village with um, with a village headman, a village headwoman in Lusaka. And it was amazing because the Soli people, the owners of Lusaka have been pushed in a space. Right. And I, I felt like they could make a life out of their culture. It was from there that I started reading and I started looking for people who do social marketing. And I came across Davey and she said, do you want to do your PhD? I said, yeah, I want to do a PhD. So when, when, when the world went into lockdown, yes. it dawned on me that if we are running these um, health campaigns on social media, how are they being evaluated? Because we are in total lockdown. How do we measure behavior? If people like the adverts that I post on social media, they engage. I realize that um, in the world of virtual spaces, there are two kinds of personalities. There's the actualities. There's the actual self. Correct. You can like something on social media, but you do the opposite. Yes. You find someone beaming on Instagram, but they commit suicide. So I started thinking like that, and I was like, I think I've got it. I'm going to do my PhD in this space. Fantastic. Are we running out of time? Yes. Okay. No, no, it's fine. Okay. okay. So that's how um, I submitted my proposal. I wanted to do an evaluation framework for social marketing health campaigns that are placed on social media. So that's the work that I've been doing. I presented my first study in Brighton. And that's oh, at the last conference, right. The World Social Marketing Conference. That's where I met Fantastic. my clan, <laughs> my social marketing tribe. Such a good story. Then from there, I knew uh, I, I needed to do more. So um, uh, I was elected to be in the board for the AFSMAC, the first AFSMAC board. Okay. So I'm in that board and now we are recruiting and I've, we've got a lot of people from Zambia. We've got about eight companies coming from Fantastic. Zambia. Fantastic. Yeah. That's marvelous. And, and just thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you. 